What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Now, uh, we've already covered two of the first place decks from the North American International, so why not cover the third first place deck? And that is from the Junior Division. Um, or Senior Division, sorry. Junior Division was Rainbow Road, Masters was Trampa Garboder, and the Senior Division was Greninja Break, uh, piloted by Michael Long. Now, um, this list is kind of interesting. Um, the first thing you'll notice is a Starmie tech in here with a Space Beacon. You may discard a card from your hand if you put two base signature cards from your scroll back into your hand, which is really strong. You just be in down to one. You're like, whatever. I'm just going to guarantee those energies that I need for the Greninja break. Uh, you're going to see, you are going to see a high count of rescue stretchers. He's going to play three of these uh, to put a card in his hand or three uh, back in his deck. Um, we see two teammates. Most decks maybe play one, but he's going to opt to play the two. Uh, choice bands, of course, do additional damage. And that is going to be his Greninja Break Starmie deck. But what we're going to do today, of course, it's Saturday. So we're going to play three games with this Greninja deck. And uh, we're going to see what happens. We're going to jump straight into it. Let me scroll over to Greninja. And I know a lot of people have seen Greninja, but Greninja is actually one of the decks that are going to survive going into next season. Um... So, that should be really interesting. So, we see Pilot uh, 6881 plays got a Lightning Grass deck. Okay. Now, I will say this. I am not the best Greninja player. I mean, it's probably... Uh, I want to say it's not too hard, but it's always a difficult deck. And especially what you might see sometimes in these games is that we brick. Um, and what I mean by that is you just don't draw into the Frog of Deers. You don't get set up with the Greninjas and you just lose. Um, we are going second, so... He is going to at least knock out one Pokemon, uh, potentially, but then we'll be able to duplicate, so they'll take another knockout, and then from there we'll see what happens, and right now you see this hand is already pretty bad. We got a Jirachi, a Frogadier, and two Greninjas, no Froakie in sight as of right now, which is very unfortunate, but since we start that Jirachi, we cannot really attach special energies, or we can just start us some way, because we do have a Water Gene hand, and there we see a Stuffle, so I'm not sure what we're playing against, uh, some kind of... Beware deck, maybe like Beware GX. I know that's a thing that we haven't covered before. Um, so we see a lightning on the active and just pass on to our turn. So, uh, well, I guess we put a water the active and you start us and your hand is pretty bad. Uh, all right, can he find a way to knock us out? I mean, I think stuff will revolves it involve evolves into beware and there we see a beware but it's not the one i think it is but if he finds a dc he'll be able to take a knockout here we'll do 60 and there we see a dc going to the active and we'll see a dangerous blow for the knockout and he actually has the game right now but he doesn't notice this unfortunately so we have to sit here and wait uh so we see a grabbing okay uh and beware does have to rake it in okay you draw three cards when you evolve and uh there we see the knockout there we go so that's going to be game number one, and that does happen a lot of times with the Greninja deck, and that's what most people are scared of, is that when you play Greninja, you kind of just, like, draw a pass, and you don't find anything, and you just you just get Greninja. Uh, but on game number two, we'll see what happens. Oh, we're, we're playing a mirror match. Please do not let this be a mirror match, because this is going to be the most annoying uh, 15, 20 minutes of forever, because all you really do is you go for a... <sighs> Okay, so we got a star you, which is good. Uh, actually, I don't know if we want to put down the star. We'll put down the star you, but we're definitely not going to evolve it to star me. Uh, the star you has free retreat, which is really nice. And yep, it's Greninja deck. Now, the thing about Greninja is you kind of just like shadow stitching forever. And that's. Oh, he plays max potion, so he's probably going to win this mirror match uh, with shadow stitching and stuff like that. All right, so we see another Pokemon, and he plays Rough Seas. Oh, man, this match is going to take forever. Okay, so we have three Mulligan draws as of right now. Um, I mean, it's not really going to matter too much because we don't play Wally, so we can't get the turn one Frogadier. He probably doesn't play anything uh, relevant to, like... <sighs> Um, to like Lysander up. He's probably just playing Greninja and nothing else. I didn't see any colors in his deck. I didn't see any metal. I didn't see anything like that. But we will take a couple Mulligan cards. Our hand's not good at all. But uh, we get multiple dive balls and there's a Froakie for my opponent. Alrighty. So we might <laughs> good to see it pass. I mean, this game is going to last forever. Um, it just depends on how he plays it. He could play it wrong 
and give us an opening. So we see another Froki coming down, which I don't know if you really want to put a Froki down here. Um, it is a little ice in target for us. We can just bring it up and maybe get it stuck in the active spot. If he doesn't find an energy in there, we see an end, unfortunately. We're gonna get rid of our hand, and uh, we're gonna get six new cards. Our hand was pretty good. I mean, because he can't really take a knockout next turn or really do anything. And there we see, this is a hand we do not want to see. Um, also with Frogadiers and stuff. So I'm just gonna put a Waters in the active and just go for a bubble. And really, okay, so we do get a heads. Now, the only unfortunate thing is if he's being really spicy and has a rare candy, he can rare candy into the Greninja and take a knockout this turn. So we will see a Frogadier coming down, okay? He'll be able to use that water duplicate to get three more Frogadiers in play. Um, so we see a water duplicate to the bench, okay? And we see a water duplicate that's going to search out three Frogadiers. How uh, many prize? One, two, and he has one prize, which is good for us. So on our turn, we put a, get a splash energy. We put a Frogadier on the active, and we are going to play an in. Now, hopefully, we don't draw into these, any of these Frogadiers, because that could be terrible. And we don't find any, so that's great. So with this, we are just going to water duplicates. We're going to get three Frogadiers in play. Um, he could take a knockout this turn. Um, yeah, he, I mean, he can. It's If he does take a knockout, we can Ace Trainer him down to a low hand size, and maybe... Uh, I don't know. We just go from there and see what happens. Now, if he if he if he goes for a knockout this turn, he puts a water energy in his hand. Um, and the thing about that is we get a trainer away, so he doesn't have any water guaranteed on the field. I don't know why this fuzzy this fuzzy stuff's around us. But two waters in the active is actually great. And we see a second more. We go to discard his hand. Discard a rough seas and a uh, Greninja. Oh, he did he did play rare candy, so that could have been really risky if he found that rare candy. I need this fuzziness right here. Just just disappear. Go away. Hey, I rubbed it away. There we go. All right, so Diabol. Oh, nope, it's back. All right, we'll find a Greninja, and this is going to be a really long game here. All right, so is he a Greninja? Will he go for that Moonlight Slash, pick up the energy, put it back into his hand? Um, I wouldn't see why you don't. I mean, because we don't have a way to use our abilities turn, so I think this is a fine play. He's going to take a knockout here, uh, going down to five prize cards. Okay, so going down to five. We'll send up the Star You. It has a free treat. Uh, okay. And on to our turn, uh, let's see. So we get a level ball, and with the level ball, we can grab a, a Froakie. Okay. So put down the Froakie. Uh, put a Greninja on the bench. I am going to dive ball for another Greninja. Okay, so grab another Greninja. We'll put that guy down, and... We'll play Ace Trainer, and uh, we just all we gotta find is a Water G. We we'll get to go, and we don't find a Water G, but we find a Dive Ball. Okay, so with the Dive Ball, we can find a Starmie, which is something I really don't want to find uh, because you get life up. It only has a one retreat cost, so it's not too bad. Okay, so we will retreat into the Greninja, put down a Starmie. We will use Space Beacon to discard a Choice Band, and with this, we're gonna get a Water G to our hand. Put that down, and we'll use a Shadow Stitching uh, for that 40 damage. Yep, Shadow Stitching, do not want to go for a Moonlight Slash, because if we go for a Moonlight Slash, he'll be able to uh, use his abilities if he finds a Greninja break this turn. So, we see another Froki coming down, which is good for us. Uh, does he have a dead hand? That would be great. And, uh... What we gotta really hope for, what we gotta hope for is we have to license or Froki, get it stuck in the X spot, or a Frogadier, or something like that. Most likely a Froki. I just want to lie to a Froki get it stuck. But next time we get Dive Ball for another Greninja. We get Sycamore, discard our hand, draw seven new cards. But what does he find here? And there we see a Max Potion. Going to heal the, inner, the damage off the active. Okay. A uh, Splash Energy on the active. And we see an N. Now, with the Splash Energy, if he does keep an Onit, what we can do is put a Jirachi down. Well, no, nah, Jirachi doesn't seem that very good. Um, it seems good on paper, but I don't want him to uh, really have that uh, turn to use his abilities. So we'll get another Greninja down. We'll put a Water G on the bench Greninja. We will retreat into the Greninja. Put down a Greninja break to the bench. And we'll go for another Shadow Stitching. Alrighty, so this is gonna be a back and forth game of a ton. I should have probably just like ace trainered him, um, just so we could find a license to bring a Froki. That's probably our only out to like sneak and win in this game. Okay. 
Uh, but there's the rescue stretcher. Gonna put one Pokemon back out of his hand. Gonna grab that Greninja Break. Um, Greninja Break's really, I mean, he could put on the active, have more HP, but he needs more Greninjas. He only has uh, one out. Well, we have three. That's good. Okay, all right. And if we can knock out the Greninja and he doesn't guarantee the Greninja Break, I'll pro I'll hundred percent go for Moonlight Slash. Uh, but there we see a Wally come down. Gonna get another Greninja in play, and now we're in a little bit of trouble. All right, so uh, Greninja coming down. Okay, there we see Ender Chival. Gonna put two Water Dudes in his hand. He cannot use the uh, Breaks effect because we have Shadow System. And the big question here, does he play a Ranger? A Ranger will help allow him to um, get rid of our Shadow Stitching. We don't play a Ranger, but he might. So we see 40 damage coming down, and on to our turn. Let's see what happens. So we get an Ultra Ball. <clears throat> um, with the Ultra Ball, we can discard the Froakie and the uh, Jirachi to grab a, another Greninja Break. Okay. So we'll put a Greninja Break on the active. And we're gonna VS Seeker for an Ace Trainer. Uh, what I really need to find is a Lysander to try to get a Froakie stuck in the Axe spot. All right, so Ace Trainer, we get a Water G, a Lysander, and there, and there, there's the Lysander that we need. Alrighty. Uh, so what we do now is retreat to the Bench Greninja, put a Water G on the active, and we'll go for another Shadow Stitching for 40. Okay, so another 40 damage. Oh, I, sh oh, I should've used Stretcher. A Stretcher could've grabbed us a Frogadier in the next turn. Um, I got another Greninja out. Alright, so let's see what he has here. So pass. I think my opponent just misclicked. Maybe he didn't want to play the game no more, because that game was not going to be exciting. Well, that's unfortunate, because we just wasted, like, uh, what, eight minutes? I don't know why he just passed. Maybe he didn't want to play the game no more. <laughs> it's going to be a very, very long game, but let's look at our opponent's deck real quick. So you can see it's just like Greninja, he plays uh, Inner Retrieval, he did play two Max Potions, and that would probably have swung him the game. He did play two Rough Seas, man, that one turn we would be like, risk it, had a Froakie in the X spot. But that's how you play the Mirror Match, if you do play against it, you kind of like go for Shadow Stitching. Neither one of us played Ranger, so that wasn't going to affect anything, and it was going to be a long game. So I'm kind of glad he conceded, and uh, let's go to game number three, hopefully we actually have a real game, and uh... We'll see if Greninja can be in action or not. So in game number three, we are playing against Lord Kelvin. Um, playing a Dark and a Psychic deck. Okay. Um, now, what comes in, head, in my head is like Zork. And I think Zork is a f okay matchup for sure. Um, yeah, it's a, I think it's a fantastic matchup actually. I think it's, yeah, it's a great match for us. So, we get a Froki, okay, Pokepuff, yeah, it's a Zork deck, and now uh, it might seem bad because we do put down multiple Pokemon, but we can pick off multiple of his Pokemon as well, like Giant Water Shuriken, we'll start taking some knockouts, stuff like that, we'll be good to go, um, but this Ultra Ball, we're going to discard a teammate and a Jirachi, find in the Froki, and, uh, I might just pass. I really don't want to play an in straight away because I don't know what is in his hand. And we already have two Greninjas, so that's fine. Or two Frogadiers. So we see a Drampa and a Zora. Uh, Drampa cannot take a knockout, so I'm going to Ultra Ball, discard teammates, and a Jirachi. Okay, we're going to grab a Froki. Come on down, Mr. Froki. All right, so we got Froki. We'll put that guy down, and we'll press Dunn to our opponent's turn. And what I'm going to do next turn is put that Frogadier on the active and play an in, not putting down the Frogadier. So we get down three Frogadiers, and what this allows us to do is um, if he takes a knock on the active, we'll be able to have another Frogadier for this bench, Froki. So is he a DCE, a Silver Ring to the active, and our big will. He has to go for big will GX. Which is uh, good for us. Um, I mean, Berserk knocks us out regardless. So uh, he wastes his GX because we have an in in hand. Uh, let's put down Frogadier. We'll put a Water in the active and play it in. Like I said, we just got to not hit a... Okay, so we're good to go. And we find three Greninjas for next turn. Oh my goodness. Alrighty, so let's see. So I'm going to Dive Ball grabbing a Staryu. Okay. We'll put down the Staryu, and we will water duplicates. I will... F oh, we actually have one Greninja prize. Oh, I mean, we're on Frogadier prize. So we'll get these two guys out, one and two. Um, next, we have double Greninja, okay? Uh, we can go for a Shadow Stitching, maybe. Um, whatever we want to. We see another Zora hit the field. We see a Pokepuff, and he's not going to see anything in our hand, but he's going to see three Greninjas and two in, and be like, oh my goodness, I need to take care of this. Uh, but if as long as he has energy, he can go for Berserk, take a knockout. There we see an Alter the Moon coming online. Okay. 
And, um... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, once we get the, like, Greninja breaks in play, we should be okay. There's a Rainbow Energy going to the active, taking that 10 damage, and they receive Sycamore, uh, discarding a Super Rod and a Zorg break, okay? So he's discarding two really good resources. We see a Zorg, a Zorg coming down. We see a Ringaroo coming down as well. And, um... We'll see a Berserk for the knockout going down to five prize cards. So, I'm going to say the Staryu does have that free tree, which is really nice. And we just got to find a rescue stretcher. So, on our turn, we find it. Oh, hey, there we go. All right. So, a stretcher. Um, put a... Nope, not this. A Frogadier in our hand. Okay. So, we'll put down a Frogadier. Put down a Frogadier. There we go. So, put down Greninja. Put down a Greninja. And we'll play an N. All right. So... Let's see what we get off this in. We find a die ball and a Froakie. And this Froakie is actually going to be really important to us. Um, because we can evolve this to a, uh, a Frogadier next turn. It takes a knockout. So we should treat it to the uh, Greninja. We'll put a Water in the active. And we'll use a Moonlight Slash. Do uh, Yes, we'll do the 80 damage. Bring it up to 90. Okay, so there we go. And um, let's see. So he has 90 HP left. If we find a Choice Band... And a, um, yeah, as long as we find a choice, maybe we can take a knockout next turn on this Drampa, which would be really nice. We do have that teammates, so if he does go for a knockout here, we'll be able to teammates for any two cards out of our deck. And now uh, we see Ultra Ball just kind of a Bridget and a Lysander. And let's see what he grabs here. There's a Zorg Break coming down. And the only thing we have to worry about Zorg Break is he can foul play our Shadow Stitching to do 40. But that's okay. Uh, we see a Hala going to shuffle and draw 7. Ooh, yeah, 7. Okay, that's pretty good. And does he have a Rainbow Energy? And they receive a Rainbow Energy coming down, so he will be able to take a knockout if he did not hit that Rainbow Energy. Berserk only have one, done 80 damage, and he would have been in trouble. But I think he's still going to be in trouble regardless. Uh, we see an Ultra Ball, discard two cards from his hand, discards a Ultra the Moon, it's something else, okay. Uh, they receive a Zora. Okay, so what we're going to be able to do this turn is we're going to be able to knock out the Zora, well, knock out the active as well, because we'll be able to do a knockout and uh, hit this guy for 60. So he benched the Zora pretty early, uh, which is going to hurt him in the long run. So we'll sit at the Greninja, own it our turn, okay? We get a uh, Sycamore, so but a uh, Greninja break on the active. We will go for a giant Water Shuriken, discarding the Water G, putting 60 on that Zora, and we'll take a knockout going down to 5 prize cards already. So there we go, going down to 5. We find a VS Seeker, okay, and we're going to VS Seeker for a teammates. And with that teammates, we're going to grab two cards out of our uh, deck. We're going to grab a Choice Band. Uh... Okay, well, well then, we prized all of our Choice Bands, look like. So, I'm going to grab a Greninja and a Starmie. And that's unfortunate. Alright, so we'll grab these two. Yeah, that's uh, not good. Okay, so I'm going to grab these two. Uh, Drampa, it can't take a knock on our active, so I'm going to pick up these two, okay. Um, yep, that's fine. We'll put these two cards in our hand. We'll put down a Greninja. We'll put down a Starmie. Man, we prized both of our choice bands. That's really unfortunate. Alright, so I'm going to go for a Space Beacon here. Uh, I'm going to discard a Sycamore just so we can get that discard pile. Uh, putting two Water Gs in our hand. Okay. And uh, we'll put a Water G in the active. And I'm going to go for a Shadow Stitching here. Yeah, I'm going to go for a Shadow Stitching, okay? So we're going for Shadow Stitching, doing 40. Okay, and what we can do next turn is we can Greninja Break the active for a Knockout. Um, he's going to send it to Zorak, whatever. We can then take another knockout on it and go down to uh, two prize cards. So I think this is fine either way. We Shadow Stitching, so he can't like stand in. He has like manly retreat if he wants to do that. Uh, so that's fine. I think I think this is a fine play for sure. So is he a VS Seeker? Uh, let's see what he grabs here. For a Lysander. And with this Lysander, he's going to bring up the Bench Greninja, which is actually pretty bad for us um, now. Because he's going to take a knockout on this guy, going down to three. And we really don't have any comebacks right now. So, we'll send the Greninja break, okay. Ona, our turn. <laughs> we have a Giant Water Sure Candy active for 60. Okay. There we see 60. Take a knockout going down to three prize cards, so one and two. We get a Dive Ball and a Frogadier. Alrighty. So, who does he send up here? He's going to send the Rangaroo. Okay. So, I'm going to put down a Frogadier. 
I am going to VS Seeker for a teammates. And with this teammates, we're gonna grab a stretcher to shuffle three guys back on our deck. Yeah, so we'll just teammates shuffle. Uh we'll grab a stretcher. And I just want to grab a stretcher for sure. We already have two dive balls in our hands, so really don't care about that too much. And we haven't attached yet, so I'm gonna grab a water in yeah, we'll grab a splash energy. I don't think, yeah, we haven't attached yet. So I'm going to stretcher. Shuffle three cards from this card pile back in your deck. And we're going to put one, two, three. No, we don't need the froggy. Do we need the froggy? Probably do. Yeah, we'll put, we'll grab a one, one line back in the deck. Uh, we'll dive ball for a froggy. Okay. So put down the froggy. We'll put a splash in the active. And I'm going to go for a Shadow Stitching. Once again, getting that Ringaroo stuck in the X spot, which seems very good for us. All right, so in our opponent's turn, um, yeah, I think it's a great play because now he can't stand in. He has to, like, mainly retreat this uh, Ringaroo or put a Flustone on So I think that's fine here. So we see a DC and Rainbow being shoveled back into his deck, okay? And we'll see a VS Seeker for a Sycamore, most likely. Maybe a Hala. Yeah, we'll see a Hala coming back down. And does he find a Floatstone here? If he doesn't find a floatstone, this Rangaroo will be stuck in the X spot. Or he'll have to send to the Zorg with a DC and go for a foul play. Which I don't care too much about foul play because we'll eventually win that war. Okay. Uh, but did he find a floatstone? Well, he had to commit a DC to the active. <clears throat> now, if he commits a DC to the active, I'm probably just going to. Okay, so we actually see a rainbow energy going to the active. Uh, which is gr oh he has a free trick as alter okay so that's fine so we're gonna see a foul play for shadow stitching most likely I doubt he'll use oh, yeah he's gonna use shadow stitching here so on our turn we get a splash energy so I'm gonna die a ball for a Greninja <laughs> we'll put a Greninja on this guy and I kind of just want to go for Moonlight Slash for 80 yeah I'm gonna go for Moonlight Slash for 80 and yeah, so I'll put a water energy back in her hand and I'll put this water energy so that way we keep the splash energy in play and we'll do 80 to the Zorg. Okay, so what we can do next turn is we get giant water strike and knock out the Zorg and then he'll set up a new Zorg and we can take a double knockout. Uh, we see a dark energy on this guy. He can go 3, 6, 9. He can do 100 damage, um, 120 max with his uh, Zorg. So I don't care about that too much. Dramba could go for a Righteous Edge here, but it's actually a fine play. I don't care about the Righteous Edge too much either. So I think we're going to be fine here. Um, you can see why this matchup is so good. And going to Nationals, this Zorak Break deck was like one, if not the most hyped decks. And also Espeon Garb was another one of the most hyped decks. And then Greninja pretty much takes those two decks down pretty easily. So we see Lele going to use a Wonder Tag. And the only relevant card he can grab here is a Hex Maniac. And we see an N. N is not going to matter too much to us. Um, yeah, Hex is like definitely the bad thing that could have happened this turn. Um, because we can still, like, we have the space begin, so we're going to guarantee the energy to use, like, Shadow Stitching or, like, a, uh, Greninja Break. And there we see a Water Energy Splash Energy. So we're already going to go. There's a Zora hitting the field. And it does he retreat to Drampa? Uh, we see a Struck for one. Okay. Uh. Alright. So let's see. What does he find here? Okay, so we see foul play for shadow stitching most likely right now. So yep, another forty damage coming down. All right, so on our turn, um, what we're going to do, um, is we're just gonna put a water in the active. We are going to level ball for a frogadier. Put down the frogadier, and we're gonna swing for eighty, taking a knockout, and keeping this splash energy on the active again. So yeah, we'll just moonlight slash, uh, yes, and uh, putting the water G into our hand. All right, so we'll take a knockout here. He can use uh, Drampa GX to take a knockout, but uh, it really won't do anything too much. So we see a teammate's going in our hand, okay. Uh, we see the Drampa coming up. All right, so if he takes a knockout here, we can, like, not win the game, but, like, get really close. We can do 60 to the Zora to knock it out if he doesn't evolve that. And um, Moonlight Slash for 80. Uh, 8, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We actually can't one-shot the Drampa, unfortunately. So, see, Flosso going to the bench. Zorark. 
we see a VS Secret Disney Grabber in here, um, in will still would not stop us. Like, we will get, like, we'll get the Greninja Break back, we'll get a Greninja back, we'll be able to Space Speak, and we'll have a, we'll have a ton of cards to use. Um, we can even, like, Space Speak away the Frogadier that we're not going to need anymore. Uh, so we see Hala, he's going to shuffle in, he's looking for a DCE to attach this turn. He hasn't played any, he did shuffle one back into his deck, and does he find a DCE? Uh, we see a Zora coming down, so we can no longer take that easy knockout. We see a Pokepuff, he's going to see our hand, and, uh, see how good it is. It's pretty good hand. Um, but does he find a DCE? He will be taking a knockout this turn. So is he a DC going to the bench? Zork 3, 6, 9. He's only oh he will take a knockout this turn with that Zork. So he's gonna send a Zork, okay. But um we're still gonna be okay here. Because yeah, I think we're yeah, he, we're seeing a double stand in, okay. Then we're gonna see your treats to Zork. I guess he's being cute here. Okay, so he's gonna send a Drampa. Okay, so he's not gonna take a knockout. Um, does he have a DCE? We're here to attach, right? And they receive victory. So I don't, I don't know what that was. Um, but that game was going to go away regardless. Like, if you took a knockout that was Zorak, we would have got the Greninja Breaker in our hand. We would have uh, Water G, Moonlight Slash, taken a knockout. Had another Zorak break, another Greninja Break, whatever. Uh, we actually could have just, like, Giant Water Shrink in, plus keep the energy on it, and would have done 100, which would have knocked out the Zorak regardless, and we would have kept the special energy in play, and then had another one to ready to go, um, while bidding up another Greninja. So you can see why that's such a good matchup, and, uh, yeah, there we go, there's a Greninja deck. I know these three games weren't the best, but hey, um, we take what we get, like, game one, we, uh, kinda got greninja and really didn't do anything, game two. We played the mirror and uh, kind of explained that. In game three, we finally saw the deck in action, how it can easily take down Zork. And like I said, Zork and Espeon were two of the best matchups. Like They're like fantastic matchups. And that was the two big decks going into this weekend. But there we go. There's the first place. Uh, one of the first place seniors. I always get the junior seniors mixed up in my head. But there we go, guys. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. It'll be a fantastic, fantastic Saturday. Hit that subscribe button. Alrighty. Bye. Alright guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, 60 Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.